what are some of the biggest misconceptions um, about Tibet or the Tibetan culture? Well, firstly, I think we mentioned that, you know, in most people's minds, Tibet is a very tiny place. And, and the kind of number one thing is that it's actually huge. I mean, it, it's about the size of, of the whole of Western Europe or, or Alaska and California combined. So we're talking a massive area that isn't necessarily inhabited in all parts because uh, certainly much of Northern Tibet is, is pretty much uninhabitable. I mean, it's at such high elevation and, and so little grows there that very few people choose, choose to settle there or nomads you know, will spend months, some parts of the year there, but, but their homes will be, will be elsewhere. Most of wild animals, mm. churu and uh, wariak. Mm. Mm. The chiru is the is a kind of deer, yeah. um, whose um, fur is much prized, uh, sadly, for scarves outside of Tibet. Right. Um, so quite a lot of hunting and poaching happens in these wilder areas. So that that's a really big one. And then um, I, a job that we find we have to do most of the time, even with customers who've been visiting us under the banner of Taste Tibet for years, is to uh, explain repeatedly that Tibet is not the same as Nepal. So it's quite a, a distinct country with its own um, customs, um, language, traditions. And, and like we said, you know, I don't know how many times Nepal would fit into Tibet, but, you know, but so much larger. <laughs> yeah. And um, I remember in one of your um, Instagram posts, you also mentioned um, some people might think momos um, were actually Nepalese food rather than Tibetan. Mm-hmm.